Recently, I've done a lot of videos about big conspiracies or tragedies or scandals, and while they're certainly very interesting, they can be a bit serious. Today, let's unwind a bit and do an old school video, taking a lighthearted look into a strange or unusual Wikipedia page. The kind of Wikipedia page where the mere existence of it is enough to make me laugh. The Dave Matthews Band Chicago River Incident. Now that's a Wikipedia page. What kind of incident could the Dave Matthews Band possibly have had with the Chicago River to warrant its own Wikipedia page? A hilarious one. But first I want to make sure you're not risking an incident of your own. The chances are you are watching this video unprotected, just raw dogging it. You need Atlas VPN, my friend, and I'm going to help you get it. Of course, most of my long-term viewers would trust me with their lives, so they can just head on down to the link in the description below to pick up a great deal on Atlas VPN right now. If you're not one of those viewers and still need convincing, listen up, O oh ye of little faith. Atlas VPN is a service that encrypts your data and hides your virtual location when you use the internet. If you're not using a VPN when your computer communicates with the websites it visits, it's giving away some information about your machine that maybe you don't want them to have. Now, maybe you're not concerned about your anonymity. Maybe you don't want to protect your privacy. Well, it does more than that. A lot of websites, particularly streaming services, use your geographical location to determine what content you can and can't access. Netflix is a good example. Over here in Ireland, I think the selection of shows and movies is pretty poor. I actually would not recommend that service. But if I use Atlas VPN, I can disguise my location and pretend I'm from the US. Now I'll have access to a lot more shows that would otherwise be hidden from me. Atlas VPN also has a data breach monitoring feature, meaning it will monitor the internet for your information and alert you if it shows up in some place it shouldn't. If a website you use gets hacked and your information and passwords are leaked, Atlas VPN will let you know. Atlas VPN works on any device, not just your computer, and you can get an amazing three-year deal for just $1.39 a month. If you had just a single cup of coffee every month, it would be more expensive than this. And this is a utility. It's useful. If you don't think so, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Click the link in the description now and pick up this deal before it's over. The Dave Matthews Band is an American rock band formed in 1991 and still active to this day. Their debut studio album, Under the Table and Dreaming, brought them worldwide fame and has been certified platinum six times over. I've never listened to their music, so I can't give you too much more insight than that. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. It really doesn't matter to me because we aren't talking about the Dave Matthews Band today. We're talking about the Dave Matthews Band Chicago River Incident. On August 8, 2004, the band was on the road doing shows and booked five buses to accomplish this. Seems a bit excessive. At around 1pm, the violinist's bus was passing through Chicago. Okay, yeah, if the violinist has his own bus, it's excessive. Usually the hierarchy of bands is something like vocalist, guitarist, and then everyone else. I think most bands just fold those guys up into suitcases for easier travel, but not the Dave Matthews band apparently. The buses bands use for touring are quite a bit different than your average bus, as it's going to be home for the guys inside for an extended period of time. This means a tour bus must have features that include things like beds and a toilet. If you've ever wondered how that worked, the bus has its own septic tank on board to store the waste and it's disposed of at a later date. Sometimes a third party is contracted for the waste disposal. This is the second video I've done in Chicago, and in both of them, I end up talking about the mechanics of poop management. Around the same time the bus was passing through, a boat tour for Chicago's architecture departed in a boat called Chicago's Little Lady. The boat held around 120 passengers on an open roof terrace, where they could gaze in amazement at architecture. Around 15 minutes after its departure, the boat was passing under the Kinsey Street Bridge, a bridge built in 1909 with a grated surface. As they passed under the bridge, the Dave Matthews Band bus was passing over it. The bus driver, upon seeing the bridge was grated and assumedly not wanting to arse around paying to dispose of the septic tank's contents, saw an opportunity to just dump all the shit in the river. It's only Chicago after all. He probably thought it was a pretty clever move. You know who didn't? Two thirds of the people on the boat below, who were soaked in 800 pounds of the septic tank's contents. I could make countless jokes about this situation, but legal filings being funnier than I am, I let them do the talking. 
Dozens of passengers on the sightseeing tour boat were doused with the liquid human waste. The passengers included persons with disabilities, senior citizens, a pregnant woman, a small child and an infant. The liquid human waste was brownish yellow in colour and had a foul, offensive odour. Yeah, I'll bet. The liquid human waste went into the passengers' eyes, mouths, <laughs> hair and onto clothing and personal belongings, many of which were soaked. Some of the passengers suffered nausea and vomit as a result of exposure to the liquid human waste. Reportedly, there was also a pregnant woman driving on the bridge at the same time, and the sight and smell of the mess caused her to immediately start vomiting all over the car. She tried to stick her head out of the window, but of course the wind just blew it all back onto her. The tour boat immediately turned around and gave all the passengers a refund. Some went to hospital to get tested. Luckily, no one suffered any long-lasting health problems. Now all that remained was to find the bus driver who did it. This was not an easy task, made harder by the band's use of five fucking buses. The offending bus had its license plate traced back to a driver for the band, but he was not the one driving the bus that day, claiming he was in another bus parked in front of the band's hotel at the time. Eventually, state prosecutors concluded from a nearby gym's security footage that Stefan Wohl, a driver for the Dave Matthews Band, was responsible. In March 2005, he pleaded guilty to misdemeanor charges of reckless conduct and water pollution. He was sentenced to 18 months probation, 150 hours community service, and was made pay a fine of $10,000 to an environmental organization responsible for maintaining the river. The band donated an additional $50,000 to the same organization and another 50 grand to the Chicago Park District. They also settled a civil lawsuit with the state of Illinois for $200,000. And all of this originated from a man pushing a button. I'm sure he thought he was saving himself a lot of time and effort throwing that shite into the river, but unfortunately for him, this was a day where dumping septic waste into the river was not a victimless crime. I mentioned earlier in the video I have another video about Chicago and the mechanics of poop, and believe it or not, I wasn't lying. That's an interesting tale of the whole city being physically lifted up so they could build the sewerage system underneath it. I wondered to tell you about that on that architecture tour those people on the boat were partaking in. Well, if you want to find out how they lifted a city without taking the risk of getting shit on or going to Chicago, watch that video and subscribe for more. Mm -hmm.